Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we're going to talk about the motion track behavior effect in HitFilm Pro version 15. So before this effect was added in HitFilm Pro 15, you could accomplish the same idea in HitFilm. It's just that this makes it a lot quicker and easier to do. So if you have a version of HitFilm that is previous to uh, Pro 15, or if you have HitFilm Express, this is how you do it. You would have your footage, uh, and in this case, it's just a couple of guys talking. What you would have to do is right-click on this footage and make it into a composite shot, clicking OK. Then you would have to open up the uh, properties and find tracks. You would click this little green Insert Tracker button, and then you would take that tracker and you would place it somewhere. I think I'll put it right here on his beard. And then you will say track forward. And you can see even though this footage is moving, uh, it is following his beard exactly where you'd want it to be. Then you would go back into the viewer tab, clicking here, uh, add a new point layer. And then under that tracker, you would say transform to that new point and click apply. Then you would go into your media bin and bring in whatever asset that you wanted to actually uh, connect to that point. And then opening up the control panel of that, you would scale that down. Let's go say there and you'd move it to where you wanted it exactly to be. And then you would parent that to the new point. So then when you came back out onto the editor timeline, you would see that that is connected directly to the, whatever you wanted it to be connected to. Okay, now let's start over. This time we'll use the motion behavior. So I will bring in the footage to start with, uh, but I will not make it into a composite shot. Instead, I will just go ahead and bring the feature that I want to track onto it. And then right away, I can do the same thing I did before, which is just scale that and size that and put that exactly where I want it to be. Then I can search for the motion behavior. This is actually found under the behavior uh, folder. And I would drag that into the feature. And then under motion from, I would select the video. It will immediately start analyzing the video, the frames that are occupied by the feature. And then as soon as it is done, you can see that there are a bunch of tracking points and all you have to do is just grab some this way. Okay, now if you want the rotation and scale, you could, in this case I wouldn't, so I would go ahead and uncheck those. And now that's it. It's that quick and it's that simple. And now I have the exact same effect that would have taken a lot longer to do. Now, let's say I wanted to add one to this guy. Well, what I will do is just right click and say, uh, copy, and then if I hit Control V, paste, and oh, I want to just insert it on a new track. Okay, so now I have this on a new track. But if I were to bring it over here and put it next to this guy's beard, okay, and then open up the behavior effect for that, then I can, selecting that, just go ahead and grab some more points. And now I have one set up for uh, that guy as well. And so I could go ahead and change that feature, but you see that that is now tracking there. And I could track something on this lady over here, or this feature back here, whatever I wanted to. And you could see how quickly and easily that happens. So in a nutshell, that's basically the new motion track behavior effect for HitFilm Pro version 15. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Be happy to answer those for you. Also, if you like this kind of content, please do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell icon for notification. And as always, thanks for watching.